They say two is the loneliest number since the number one. Yeah, well, maybe in bowling it is. I don't know about <laughs> soccer. <laughs> well, if one's for the money and two's for the show, then we have a show for you next on Extra Time. Welcome to Extra Time, everybody. I'm your host, Greg Lawless, alongside Shep Messing. And the first weekend has come and gone, and what an incredible weekend it was. Stunning goals, big-time performances by some of the top players in the league. Shep, what are your opening thoughts? Yeah, Greg, this is the 14th year of the league. It's unbelievable. And I'll tell you what, in terms of quality of play, this, for me, was the best opening week ever. Really, really fun. I mean, Act 1 of ET this week is all about braces. Well, not the kind you have on your teeth. Week 1 will be remembered for two goal performances, or braces as the Brits like to say. Freddie Montero for Seattle had two goals and a 3-0 win for the Sounders. Amado Guevara, two goals with a 3-2 win over Kansas City. And oh, by the way, those two goals for KC? Davey Arno. Uh, Landon Donovan for Los Angeles, two goals, in the, one of them at the death to get the tie. And Paulo Nagamura with two goals for Chivas, in, or not for Chivas, yes, for Chivas in the win. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, where is that coming I'm from? So Landon confused. than we expect. <laughs> I'm so confused about Paulo Nagamura getting two goals. But really impressive with all these goals going in this weekend. I, I really think it was a spectacular effort by a number of big-time star players. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, the debate is which one of those two goal, I'm not going to say brace performances, right. which one had the most impact? I, I think Freddie Montero. Freddie Montero, why? I, I think the context of the game and what he went through, remember, he had to sort out paperwork, was back in Columbia, right. expansion team, sold out crowd, first time ever on synthetic surface for him, and that opening goal. I mean, so the, the, the impact of that opening goal and then the third goal to seal the win, uh, I think that was the best performance. Well, he was brought in to do this, and he showed that he's the real deal on that. For me... I thought that Amado Guevara's two goals were impressive to get the win in Kansas City. You're on the road. Toronto needed to do something, especially against a Kansas City team that was flying. Davey Arnault was all over the place. Great atmosphere yep. out there, and he comes up big. Obviously playing well with Dwayne DeRosario in the midfield. Yeah, I can't argue with Guevara. Again, you know, what had the most impact? Davey Arnault. I mean, those strikes. Those were lovely were, goals. <laughs> but the team lost, so That's true. you put it down a notch. Right. And Nagamura, you know, same thing. I mean, high impact yep. because I really thought they were on the way to losing that game. Mm, Colorado true. was playing better, uh, had the lead. He comes back, smokes two goals from an unexpected source. A couple of goals, two to one. Now, some other stars around the league also stepped up in week one. Brian Ching and uh, Guillermo Barascoloto both got goals in a 1-1 draw between Columbus and Houston. Uh, Gomez for D.C., He's back. He gets yeah. a goal in his first game back with D.C. United. Brian McBride and Cuauhtémoc Blanco for Chicago, both getting on the score sheet in a 3-1 win down in Dallas. And speaking of Dallas, probably for me, what was the goal of the week? Kenny Cooper's oh. long bomb from inside his own half. As a former goalkeeper, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> but look, uh, well, let's go. kudos to Cooper. But John Bush actually recovered, got back, and was in position to make the save. He should have made yeah, that so save. So what happened, though? Why didn't he make the save? It's, you get a little bit disoriented because you're backpedaling. He's back at the line. Again, I think he should have made the save, but he's unsure of where he is. Well, a goalkeeper of that, you would have probably expected a little more. Now, look, thinking about all those star names going into week two, which star do you think needs to? to shine brightest. Well, you and I both agree that the big players always have to step right. up and carry their team. The one player I think that really needs to do it, didn't do it in the opening game against Seattle, is Juan Pablo Angel. Now, I I'm going to come to his defense already because Angel needs service. That's and, true. and that was really horrific by the New York Red Bull team in terms of their total performance. So he didn't have much help. Well, I'm going to go with Christian Gomez. I think he needs to step up for DC United. It's a player that obviously has all the skill. It's his first game back home for DC United. They're taking on Chicago, who's coming in. Big game for him, obviously necessary. Now, we got an email. We're going to take it right now. Tyler from Florence, Alabama. Based on their inaugural performance, do you think the Sounders could make it to MLS Cup this year? Tyler, slow down, man. You got the passion. You got the <laughs> fever. But but the operative word is based on their inaugural performance. Yeah. So that was a perfect game for Seattle. They have a long way to go, but I think they have talent. They do have talent. I don't think they're going to make the MLS Cup this year, but you never know. Join us for Act 2 tomorrow when we will break down the keys to winning on the road in MLS. <laughs> <laughs>